October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. A group of survivors are fighting back in a unique way with boats and paddles. John Lordson shows us how the dragon divas empower each other. Bye. At Lake Gervais in Little Canada. It's fantastic. It's so inspirational. Dozens of women ages 34 to 85 grab their paddles, hop in boats, and find their rhythm. I love that in dragon boat racing, they call racing festivals. It makes it so much more diva-ish. Meredith Leary Johnson is one of the newest members of the Dragon Divas. They practice up to three times a week. And as much fun as this is, it was a breast cancer diagnosis that brought them together. I had the misfortune of being diagnosed in the middle of the pandemic. And so kind of dealt with so much loss. Um, all at once. Like many of her teammates, when Meredith got done with treatment at Alina Health, she didn't know what to do next. Her physical therapist recommended the divas. I'm sitting behind a woman who's a grandmother seven times over, and behind me is a woman who's in her 30s. It's really been a focus in my life since uh, 17 years ago. Corey Graham is one of the leaders. After being diagnosed years ago, she went through 37 radiation treatments in two months. It made her want to take control of her health any way she could. And so to get on a dragon boat and paddle shows our family and our friends the strength that stayed within us, even though on the outside, our appearances might have looked pretty weak. Not anymore. This weekend, many of the divas will be in Las Vegas for a dragon boat festival and competition. They stayed the course to beat breast cancer, so navigating rough waters won't be a problem. Everything just comes together because we're comfortable with each other. We have a, a relationship built with trust and love, ultimately. In Little Canada, John Lordson, WCCO News. About 80 survivors make up the divas. They say studies show that regular exercise, like paddling a dragon boat, help prevent cancer recurrence.